Hello fellas, welcome back. Something a little bit different today. I'm going to do like a little how-to video. Of course, I've got a problem with the Subaru. It's, pretty, it's a pretty common problem. So I'm going to show you how, how to fix it. And hopefully if you've got this problem, I'll show you what it is. Let's start the car and I'll show you the problem. Right, now if I start the car, Wait till them gear just stop going off it. Right now if I turn the wheel, it goes stiff. Like the power steering doesn't really work when the engine's cold. Once the car's warmed up, it's fine. Fine-ish sometimes, like if you try and put, with that. If you try and put, turn it too fast, it'll just, it just judders a bit. So what we're going to do is, right, we're going to adjust the belt. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust the belts. It is a pretty simple job. You just need some basic tools. So I'll get the tools and we'll show you what you, what you do. Right, my toolbox is a bit of a mess at the minute. I've just had the garage built and I've never had time to sort all my gear out. Right, we're going to start with the 10mm socket. I'm going to start by just removing this cover here. This is one bolt and one nut. I'm going to put this down here, out the way and see if you can measure the tension on the belt. You see this belt here, this is what we want to tighten. You see mine's a bit slack. There's just a little bit too much movement on this belt. So we'll just adjust it and if it doesn't work I will replace the belt. But I just don't like, not that it's wasting money, I just, I get worried about stuff in landfill as I'm getting older a bit. But anyway, we're just going to adjust it and hopefully it'll work and I'll not have to buy a new belt. I'm not being tight, I just do you know what I mean? You've got to think the environment, man, it's rubber than that. As I'm sitting here with a totally un uneconomical car, but... So what we're going to do is we're going to slacken this bolt here. We're going to slacken that bolt there. Then you adjust this, and it will lift the alternator to put tension. It'll move the alternator, like, that way. So it puts tension on the belt by moving this up. Does that make sense? Then that'll take up some of the slack. So we'll get a socket and we'll uh, get cracking. This is a proper simple job for anyone wanting to give it a go. Like a up, all my four now is like a 12 milli socket. And maybe a little extension, there we go, that'll do. Just looking for me ratchet. Here we go, 12 milli socket and ratchet. So we're just going to slacken this. Then we're just going to adjust this bolt so it'll put tension on the belt by moving the alternator. Just keep an eye on your belt, you want about a quarter of an inch of movement. Mine's about an inch there, maybe more. Doesn't take many turns to get the, get the tension. That should be about it there, so I'll nip this board back up. Then we'll start the car and see if we've fixed it. I'm going to leave that black plastic cover off, what we took off at the beginning, just while I see if it's worked. If it hasn't worked, I'll order a belt. Hopefully I don't need a new belt though. Uh, see, I'm not being tight, I just didn't want to, just didn't want to waste, I don't know. I think landfill on that, man. Jump in, see if it worked. Like I say, when the car's cold, when the car's cold, there was just no power steering. So, let's try it. this cover back on honestly it's like do not be daunted by this day uh, this job like honestly absolute easy easy i mean if you took to a garage i don't think they would charge you much to do it anyway but if you want to have a go yourself all you need is a 10 milli socket and a 12 that's it fellas i hope you found it useful if you did don't forget to give the video like a thumbs up and leave a comment saying, I don't know, thanks for something. If you want to see more of my videos, check out the uh, videos below. I'll leave a couple of links in that. But cheers for watching and I'll see you soon.